Hello and welcome. Today we will be reviewing this. The 10th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver. The screwdriver looks nice. And it's appealing to 10th Doctor cosplayers of all ages. It's got the intricate detailing of cracked surfaces on the handle's grip, of cracks on the handle's grip, and the bottom half detaches to allow for added accessories later on. which we get to a little later in the video. As we move up to the top end of the screwdriver, we see that it has two push buttons on a piece of plastic. We will test out the sound effects later on in the video. Moving to the silver head of the screwdriver, we see that it has a blue plastic covering. This is to imitate the fact that the LED inside is supposed to be a blue colour. But in fact, if I play you a sound effect, you can see that the LED is purple. That is because this in fact isn't the screwdriver with the blue LED as seen in the show. It is in fact a UV light. And the bottom half here detaches from the main body of the screwdriver. So the pen nib can be put in place. Ta -da. So in fact that is what it's for. I don't really quite know what this grey bit is at the top for, whether that's just to hold it in place inside. But anyhow, that's for another day. Moving to the extension of the silver head, you can see that when the slider is pushed upwards, the extended part of the screwdriver reveals the inner workings of the main body. This of course hides the fact that there are LEDs pla or screws placed somewhere on the body of the screwdriver. However, if we cycle through the sound effects now, you will see that there is a slight change in pitch according to where the slider is placed. Looking at the detail on the head of the screwdriver, you can see a little silver bar through the gaps in the metal plating. This of course is to imitate the fact that the silver bar is a continuation of 
the black coil in the center of the screwdriver. Now, looking at different, there have been different versions of this toy released throughout the years. Most recently, the 2013 model of this toy with the yellow coil in the center going through the screwdriver. As seen in the 50th anniversary special. Moving on now to the battery compartments of the toy and how to release the batteries and put new ones in. Simply, this is simply done by removing the cap of the screwdriver. There you will find a screw head. Simply take your screwdriver of a size that fits the screw head, twist the screwdriver clockwise until the screw is loose, pull the square off and out should come the three button cell batteries that are inside. Only do this though if the batteries inside the screwdriver are wasted as it can cause a hazard to younger children and could face hazards toward them. So always get a parent to do it for you, please. Thank you. Overall, what do I think of the toy? Well, it is great for 10th Doctor screwdriver or 10th Doctor cosplayers at Comic Cons and conventions. Um, it would fit. It's quite reasonably one of the smallest screwdrivers seen on the show. Um, and it's ideal for things like role playing or pretending to be your favorite superhero or something like that. Um, there are different variations of this screwdriver available on Amazon and eBay, although I will not be linking them down in the description, uh, simply to do because I am not promoting the 10th Doctor screwdriver, I am simply just reviewing it for the viewers viewership. Um, if you like this video, please comment down in the description box what you thought of it. Like the video and share the video on social platforms. Don't forget that the brand new series of Doctor Who series 11 returns tomorrow, tomorrow evening at 7.45. Until then, goodbye.